Hey guys, what's up? This is Neil Venka Swagger. Uh, I just did a video on an update on the Hurricanes 2012-2013 recruiting. Um, if you guys check that out. And before I start this depth chart prediction too deep, um, I want to talk about a uh, recent, and uh, like a week ago, maybe three days ago, three to seven days ago. Um, we heard Ray Ray Armstrong got kicked off the team. This is a huge deal. Um, he he was, I think, him gone playing wise. I, I I don't I haven't really seen Casey Rogers or um, Andrew Swayze play a lot or AJ Highsmith. Um, I, I I think I like AJ Highsmith and Casey Rogers the best. I, I don't know if they can make up for Ray Ray Armstrong, even though he hasn't lived up to his expectations. We're still used to him back there. Uh, I, I kind of expected, not expected, but like, I'm, I'm waiting to hear if Sean Trell gets kicked off now. Um, not because he's done anything, like, he's hung out with, not because, like, they hung out together, but, like, um, uh, apparently he missed summer classes, like, he was a semester late to summer classes, um, so that was a huge deal, but he hasn't gotten kicked off. Apparently, Golden's high on Chantrell. He, he, he thinks that Chantrell is doing great. Uh, Chantrell hasn't had any other problems, um, so that's the only problem he's had. I, I, I personally don't know if he's going to stay on or fall off. Um, so now with his depth chart prediction. At quarterback. I am gonna. Uh, I I think it's a no doubt that Stephen Moore starts. Um, Ryan Williams had a a decent spring, but not enough to. Uh, of course, they're gonna say that they're gonna compete during the fall for a starting position. But if Ryan Williams doesn't improve on his spring, uh, I think the job of Stephen Morris is to lose. So unless Stephen Morris comes out and has an awful fall, um, I think Stephen Morris has that quarterback position locked up. Running back, I do think Mike James will start, followed by Eduardo Clement and um, Duke Johnson. Uh, I think Duke Johnson will get 10 to 15 carries a game to start out, and then once he beefs up, I think he uh, he needs to get a good 10 to 15 pounds of muscle before he can start even getting considered into the starting position. Because if you can't last, it's no worth putting you out there for extra for extra touches. If you get hurt and you're out for the rest of the year, so um, I, I I love Duke Johnson. I think he's going to be an amazing player for us. I just he needs to beef up. Um, now to the fullback, I think it's Maurice Higgins. Him and um, there's another fullback. I, I don't remember his name. He was a linebacker. They converted him. Um, I think it was C.J. Holton. Yeah, I think it was C.J. Holton. But I think he'll be the backup, and then. Um, with Maurice Hagen starting. Wide receivers. I, I definitely think Philip Dorsett is a starter, but I don't know if the other starter is going to be Alan Hearns or Sean Scott. I want to say... I'm like 50-50 on this. Uh, I'm going to say Alan Hearns right now, just because he's he's been a more consistent player. But Sean Scott has not had an unbelievable spring, but it only counts when it's in the game. And until Sean Scott shows it during fall in the training camp and actually in a game, that he can do it in a game, I think Alan Hearns will be the starter. I do think Rashawn Scott will replace him halfway through the year. Okay, this video is getting long, so I'm going to speed this up. Um, tight end is going to be, I think it's going to be Asante Cleveland as a starter, followed by Clyde Balford. Um, and then it doesn't matter from that that it's David Perry, Dylon Die, or and there's one more. I don't Corey White. I think. Um, I think they're gonna. I don't know who's gonna be the those three. Who's gonna be last and who's gonna be whatever. But I do think Asante Cleveland will start. Coaches raved about his spring. He's gained like 15 pounds of muscle. He's up to 270. It's a beast. Um, offensive line. Uh, it's not going to be from left to right. I'm just going to. I know Sean, Sean Trell is going to start at Brandon Linder at right guard. Um, I think Shane McDermott at center. Um, left guard, 
I think is going to be Jermaine Johnson. Um, it's between him and John Feliciano. I, I, don't get me wrong, Feliciano was great for us last year, but I just I, my gut's telling me Jermaine Johnson. Um, left tackle, I, I'm going with Malcolm Bunch just because Eric Flowers is only a freshman. Eric Flowers is the real deal, but he needs time to mature. His his run blocking's insane, but his pass blocking's mediocre, at, like at best. Um, so once he improves on his pass blocking, I think he'll definitely be a sure starter. To the defensive line, um, Anthony Chicolo, definitely starter. Opposite him, it's either Shayon Green or Kelvin Kane. I'm going with Kelvin Kane as Shayon Green as the backup. And then as the other backup, I think I'm going Tyreek McCord. And then defensive tackle, I'm doing um, Luther Robinson and Curtis Porter. Um, there's um, Gary Smith. I think will be a. I think he'll get some starting time. You know what? I'm gonna switch it. I'm, I'm saying Curtis Porter and Darius Smith. Luther Robinson will be a backup along with probably. Even, I'm gonna say a freshman, maybe Dequan Ivory, um, or the other freshman Earl Moore. I, I think Dequan Ivory more though, over Moore though. Um, to linebackers, I think our linebacking corps is gonna is really deep this year. Um, uh, middle linebacker is going to be um, Denzel Perryman, uh, and I think it's Ramon Buchanan and Jimmy Gaines. Um, backups is going to be Gianni Paul, the freshman Raphael Kirby, and I think Tyrone Cornelius. Tyrone Cornelius has had a great spring. He 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 wears Sean Spence's number. He's got a he's got to wear that number with respect and play his ass off. Sean Smith was one of the best, not, he wasn't the best, def, he wasn't definitely the best Miami Hurricanes linebacker, but he was one of the best in recent years that we've had. Um, cornerbacks, everyone's saying Tracy Howard, I think he will start before the end of the year, I just don't think it's from day one. From day one, I'm going with Darius Gunter and Brandon McGee, just because Darius has been there since the spring. And he's had an amazing spring, and I think he keeps it up in the fall. He's had experience. He's a, he's a junior. He was in JUCO. He's a transfer. Um, I think I love. I'm in love with Darius Gunter's game right now. He's a big physical cornerback. He's a stud against the run. He's physical in the pass game. He he's he's not a big. Now to me, playmaker is like interceptions, forcing fumbles. I I think he could be okay at forcing fumbles. I don't think he's a big interception guy. So. He's not a big playmaker, but he's not like the worst playmaker. I think Brandon McGee has a very, a much better senior year than junior year. And then backups will miss Tracy Howard to start with, and I think he outdoes the Darius Gunter or whichever one it is. I think he starts. And as the other backup, I'm going, I'm going to go with Larry Hope. No, Thomas Finney. I'm going with Thomas Finney. Um, Safeties now, um, it's going to be Vaughn Tomac, and I'm going to go A.J. Highsmith now since Ray Ray's been dismissed. I'm going A.J. Highsmith. To me, it was between him and Casey Rogers, um, but I just think A.J. Highsmith, I, he's been there longer, I think. He, I think he is coming more natural. I, I just, I think he's a better complete safety than Casey Rogers. Um, they both had pretty good springs. Um, uh, Andrew Swayze, sorry, I keep get, forgetting his name, um, will be the backup to um, AJ Highsmith, and Casey Rogers will be a backup, and then, um, oh, I forgot about Deion Bush. I, I, I don't know if he's going to play cornerback or safety, I just know he's going to be defensive back. I'll put him at safety just for now. I think he'll be a backup behind Vaughn. Um, and then kicker, I don't think it's much competition. It's going to be Jake Wycombe and for punters, Dalton Botts. So that's that. Uh, for kick returner, I think it's going to be Philip Dorsett and maybe Vernon Davis back there. But other than that, I got nothing to say. It's, again, Bill Keynes, and it's all about the Eagles.